Hello, this is Insane Monster, and this is episode 2 of True Hauntings. Now, I wanted to get the hauntings that happened or were happened to do with dreams out of the way first. So, if you haven't read the title, this is episode 2 of True Hauntings, a Dream Stalking Serpent. There was a, like before, there was a boy. He went to sleep. And where he found himself in his dreams, which is just a dark void, he wandered, looking for someone, anyone, or anything. But then suddenly, he felt something creeping on his back, like something was just watching him. He turned around. But the only thing he met with was a giant snake lunging at his face with its fangs about to dig into his eyes. He jumped up from it, gasping for air and swatting at his neck to the point he fell out of his bed. Feeling he'd swatted at his neck because he felt like there was something around it. Like something was squeezing ever so gently around his neck. He can breathe regu regularly for about well, a good three or to five minutes for him to calm down. Then, when he got into his bed, he just couldn't sleep. He was afraid. Afraid that the snake that might be waiting for him if he did fall asleep. Though, after that night, he never did see the snake. And he was great for it. This one was a bit short, but some experiences don't last that long. So I will continue with two other incidents of hauntings to fill it out the rest. The first was a bit of an odd occurrence where there was a single key. On a hook. Now it wouldn't fall off the hook. Even if you tapped it a little bit, you have to take it off intentionally. But for some reason, there were people in the living room where the hook was with the key on it. Everybody was just sitting on a couch or chair. But for some reason, the key fell off without anyone touching it. Now, you know, it's a regular key, made out of metal, you can't bend it with your bare hand or anything, and it was straight when it was on the hook, but after falling, when someone picked it up, they saw it bent about, uh, let's say, 30 degrees, and they tried to bend it back, but they couldn't, they couldn't understand how this happened. The key just fell about four feet to the ground. A soft ground made out of a, a soft wood. It didn't make any sense. They even brought it to the strongest person they could find. And he couldn't even make the bent the thing budge back to normal. Didn't make sense. The next occurrence was when someone was put putting up disses. He put two bowls up into a cabinet. Nothing around them, really, to do anything to them, and it weren't wasn't on the edge or anything. And for reference about who was there, it was a woman on the couch watching TV, his mother, and the boy who picked it up walked away to go to the other end of the kitchen. But then suddenly, the bowls just flew out of the cabinet and shattered on the counter. There was argument between the two people who saw this, and they, were, they didn't know how, what was going on, but they just chalked it up to it just being part of living where they live. If you remember from my previous video 
episode one, you know, these stories are in voodoo territory where I live. So, stuff like this is the norm for people down here. So, if it happens, they just write it off and just clean up the mess and let them, let the goats just be. They already got to live with them. They ain't going to do anything else to antagonize them to cause more trouble. But, those were the hauntings for this episode. And... Hope you enjoy. Please remember to like, subscribe, comment, ring the bell, and share this video if you want. See you later.